5,100 years ago, in Sumer, modern-day Iraq, in the Mesopotamia region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, when the three-dimensional clay token used for money was pushed against the side of an envelope to indicate value, the first written language was inadvertently invented. Hi, I'm Emily and this is the fourth in our language history series at A Better You, your one-stop shop for languages, self-improvement, self-care and self-discovery. Before we get started, do make sure to subscribe below to make sure that you are notified about the next episode. Last week we talked about the invention of languages and if you haven't watched that already then I will link it down below so that you can go and have a look at that now. But as we move back in history towards 3100 BC, Essentially, language, verbal language that is, had already been invented. And in Sumer, Sumerian was spoken. Sumer was a land of innovation and progression. Think the New York or the Dubai of the ancient world. The first true city of Uruk was in Sumer. They had an advanced system of hydraulic engineering to control flooding, and to create irrigation. They invented modern time, that is, that there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour, and they had architecture on a grand scale. Imagine arched doorways, flat roofs and mud bricks with terracotta ornamentation and bronze accents. Imagine complicated mosaics and mural paintings, sculptures in temples, and religious structures dating back to 3400 BC. With this metropolitan lifestyle, they needed a way to trade, and to do this, they created the first shaped trading tokens, essentially money. The tokens were made of clay and had different amounts of sides depending on the value. They were used from around 8000 BC to 3100 BC. Then, one fateful day, a trader squashed one of the clay symbols onto an envelope, so as not to need to store the clay symbol. Without even being aware of it, this anonymous trader invented the first ever written language. Also, Essentially, this means that written language was literally invented to make money. Once this system started, however, it very quickly outgrew its accounting roots. Much as code today started with one simple easy purpose, but is now used to learn languages, to share funny stories, or even to cause crime, written language moved from an accounting tool to the basis for fantastic literary works. Archaic Sumerian was the first language used outside of just accounting and was a language isolate. That is, it isn't linked to any other proto-languages. It is affiliated with Basque, Sino-Tibetan and the Ural-Altaic languages, however, which is logical given Sumer's modern day location close to Turkey. The Sumerians wrote such works as the Epic of Gilgamesh, which describes a pivotal moment in the Sumerian history, a great flood. This was the basis of the biblical flood story. They also told of Sargon, the secret child of a high priestess who cast him into a basket in the Euphrates River, the inspiration for the Moses story. In fact, their works influenced many of our modern day epics and biblical stories today, including the Garden of Eden story, which is even noted to be somewhere in the region, and also the Tower of Babel story, particularly relevant for this language video. And that is the earliest known human written language. Whilst the language itself did not spread, the idea for the language or potentially the need for a language did spread and in both Egypt and China around this time other forms of language that is written language were also invented and written language continues to develop even today for example now we have things like text speak or emoticons 
or even MEMS, a form of written language to some extent, I guess. Let us know in your written language in the comments below what you thought of the video today. And please do subscribe so that you can join us next week for the next in the language history series. Please like the video if you liked it, and please do share it with anybody that you think might find it interesting. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.